Hello and welcome to your video tutorial on uploading to Jack Digital. Before uploading anything to Jack Digital, you need to make sure all of your content is in the right format. Let's look at those quickly. Any videos need to be in a QuickTime widescreen format. If you've edited your video in Premiere Pro, you can simply set this format when you export your project. So from this screen, I would go up to File, down to Export, select Adobe Media Encoder, and then I'd make sure my format was QuickTime, and my preset was PAL widescreen source to streaming 512 kilobytes per second. Hit OK and save your movie. If you edited your project in a different program and did not export it as a QuickTime file, you can still use Premiere Pro to convert your video. You would simply right click in the file bin, select import, find your video, drag that onto the timeline, and then follow the instructions for exporting that I just went through. If Premiere Pro won't recognize your file, use Super to do the conversion instead. There is a video tutorial for this on the Watch Maps YouTube channel. All of your sound should be in an MP3 format. If you've used Audition to edit your sound, you can simply save the file as an MP3. And to do that, you would simply make sure your file is selected, go up to File, Save As, select MP3 Pro, go to your Options, and up in the preset, we want to make sure it's 192 kilobytes per second stereo. Hit OK and save it. If you did not edit your sound in Audition, you can still use the program to convert your file into an MP3. To do this, you would simply right click in the file bin, select Import, find your file and open it. And then follow the steps that I just went through to save as an MP3. Your images must be a certain size and format to be uploaded to Jack Digital also. The teaser image must be exactly 600 pixels across by 300 pixels down and no larger than 500 kilobytes. Any images within your story should be cropped if needed and only up to 900 pixels across. You can use Photoshop to make any changes to your pictures. If you need to crop your teaser image, use the crop tool and then up in the options, you can actually limit the crop to 600 pixels across and 300 pixels down. And this way, you know that your teaser image will be exactly the right size. So I've made those settings, and now I'm going to select a portion of my picture. And let's just say that's what I want as my teaser image. And I know that it's the right size because I've specified that here. Now I would simply go File, Save for Web and Devices. Using this Save menu lets us choose which format we'd like to save our picture in. Use JPEG for photographs and GIFs for graphics or drawings. I'm going to choose JPEG High. And in this two-up option, I can see my original and I can see what my output will look like. And I can also see how big my original picture was in file size and how big my saved picture will be. 
And you can also make sure, using this, that your pictures are no larger than 500 kilobytes. Click Save when you're done. And you're all finished. If I wanted to check my original photograph met the specifications for Jack Digital, or resize it, I could use Adobe Photoshop to do this. Open my picture. Then simply go up to Image, down to Image Size. And here we can see that at the moment, my picture is only 316 pixels across and 421 pixels down. And that definitely meets the specifications for Jack Digital. If you want to resize this, you simply type in your new size. So let's say they want that so nice and small, 200. And because I've got constrained proportions clicked, I know that it's still going to be in proportion. And you can see how that's smaller now. File, save for web and devices. Choose what format you would like and save. Go to the Jack Digital website and log in using the username and password emailed to you when you enrolled in your course. Click Add Story. This is where you'll construct your story for publication. Enter your story's headline in the title box. Next, click on the Word Scrubber icon in the Editor's pane. This will remove any hidden formatting that Microsoft Word has embedded in your text. Open your story in Word and copy the text only. Paste this into the Word Scrubber and click Insert. Your text should be in Venanda size 2, as per the SJC Style Guide. Now we need to separate the teaser part from the body of text. Click the Read More button under the Editor pane. A red line will appear in your story. Make sure this line is underneath your teaser bar by dragging it into place. Next, we insert our teaser picture. Make sure your cursor is in front of the first word of your text. Click the Insert Image button. Now, you will need to upload the photos you want to use to the Jack Digital Shared Images folder. Click the Upload button, which is near the top. Select the number of files you want to upload, then click Browse and find your picture on your computer. When you've found them all, hit Upload. Next, make sure that the picture you want to insert is checked, and then click the Options tab in the top right-hand corner. In the Positioning section, select Float Left in the Text Flow Options. The teaser picture must have this setting. However, for pictures within your story, you may choose any of these options. In the next section, you can make sure there is space between your picture and any text around it. As we're inserting the teaser picture, we'll put 10 pixels of space to the right and at the bottom of the picture. Click Insert. If you're ever not happy with the size of your picture once inserted, you can delete the picture from the editor pane and resize again using Photoshop. To look at how your story will appear on the website, you can click the Preview button, which is at the bottom of the editing pane. Underneath the editing pane, specify your publishing details. This is usually stories, unless you've been told otherwise. Then select your category. 
If you're not logged in under your own name, or if you've written the story in collaboration with another author, write all of the author's names in the author alias section. Next, you can choose when you would like to start and stop the story being published, as well as defining any special access levels. In the metadata section, you can write keywords so people can find your story through a search engine. When you're happy with your story, or if you want to save it and keep working later, click the Save button. You will be taken back to the Jack Digital homepage. If you would like to edit your story again, click on the Q button. Here you can see all of the stories you've submitted to Jack Digital, but may not have been published yet. Click on the Edit button to make changes to your story.